McGuart's fifth period class live from the Vatican. Action. Your Holiness, there is trouble between Spain and Portugal over territorial claims in the newly discovered Americas. I was afraid of that. The discovery of new lands always means greater wealth and power to the discoverer. With Spain and Portugal at the forefront of our age of exploration, there was bound to be conflict. Send in the delegates. Get out of my way. I was here first, just like in South America. You take credit for our great Portuguese navigational triumphs. If it hadn't been for Portugal, you Spanish would be sailing around around your bad times. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this argument solves nothing. It appears that these lands are great enough for both of you. We merely have to decide how to do divide, divide up the globe so you each have a fair share. How will you do that, Your Holiness? Fetch me a map the newly discovered Americas. Here it is, Your Holiness. Now, gentlemen, I shall draw a line around the meridian. Now tell me, what is a meridian? I do not know, Your Holiness. A meridian is an, another name for a line of longitude. Lines of longitude are visible lines run north to, to south around the globe, which help to pinpoint exact locations. Location. You did, you did not know this important information, and you should have. This is why I'm hoping you're just an attendant. Hand me a marker. Mm -hmm. Note, gentlemen, that I have drawn a line of demarcation located 100 leagues west of Cape Verde Islands. Spain will have the all unclaimed land west of the line, and Portugal will have all the unclaimed land east of the line. A line of demarcation? <coughs> you are brilliant, Your Holiness. I'm not happy that Spain has gained so much territory, but your line does protect our trade routes to Africa and to India and Asia. It also gives us a foothold in South America where we can establish a new colony in Brazil. I'm very pleased with this line. It will allow us to pursue our quest for gold, God, and glory in the Western Hemisphere, which we did discover, by the way. Your Holiness, I regret to inform you that Portugal is unhappy with your line of demarcation. During the past year, no territory has been discovered, and Portugal feels your line of demarcation gives way too much territory to Spain. We have been cheated. Spain is well pleased with the agreement we made last year. Portugal feels that because Your Holiness Pope Alexander VI is of Spanish blood, he favors Spain, the land of his birth. Hmm, <laughs> we, can't, we can't have people saying that. What if I redrew line moving it farther west of the Cape Verde Islands? Well, I'd like to hear. Spain is not happy about the redrawn line, but will accept it to keep the peace. Still, it appears that we have much, much land to explore and profit from. Portugal wants more land, but will accept the new line as well to keep the peace. Keep the peace. This treaty gives us control of the entire Indian Ocean, and we plan to set up trading colonies in Asia. We will also explore setting up a slave trade in Africa. Our new American colonies are in great need of slave labor. It appears our European diseases are killing off large numbers of the native population. Spain intends to conquer the new world to get rich, not to do the work of slaves. I predict the Spanish language and Catholic faith will soon spread across the new <coughs> world with the expectation of Portuguese colony in Brazil, which will speak Portuguese. Your Holiness is so talented. You not only know everything, but you can also settle conflicts and predict the future. I accept your adulation. That is why I'm the Pope and you're not. The audience is now dismissed.